Welcome this week, folks, and um, we are going to focus on uh, the ongoing COVID crisis, but the economic elements and what it means to local government. And then I'm going to talk a, a bit about the LGAQ's own elections, which uh, the process was commenced this week. Uh, people will be aware that the Prime Minister did knock back uh, local government's Australia-wide request for us to be able to access the Job Keeper program. Uh, it's regrettable, particularly given that the federal government is the level of government known as the Commonwealth. That's because they raise 83% of all taxation in Australia. Local government only raises 3%. Uh, but we're getting on with the job. At the end of the day, councils are doing what they've always been required to do, the most basic fundamental service delivery, whether it's a local road network, water, wastewater, waste, drainage, the things that make modern communities tick. And we continue to do that. We've done that through cyclones, fires, floods, and now this uh, global pandemic. We will continue to put pressure on the federal government, of course, to deliver uh, on what's only fair, and that is that local government employees be uh, eligible for the JobKeeper program. In the meantime, we've met with the unions on a number of occasions, and we're looking to deploy and redeploy council staff that are no longer involved in frontline services because of the crisis. Uh, councils really only have three places to go if their revenues diminish. That is cash reserves to the extent they hold them, putting off capital works or indeed laying off their own staff, none of which are great solutions and indeed are very short term. Uh, finally, as I mentioned at the outset this week, I, in my capacity as returning officer for the LGAQ, wrote to all council CEOs asking them to consider nominating one of their elected members or indeed an elected member from another council to the LGAQ policy executive. Uh, that process will take uh, a couple of months. Uh, we will have a policy executive in place uh, by the 30th of May and they'll take up office towards the end of June. In the meantime, the existing policy exec will continue to meet. They'll have a telephone hookup in just 10 days time. But make sure you have a read of that uh, email that's come to councils and that you do consider the question of who you want to represent you at a district level on the LJQ policy exec. Thanks very much.